guys filling in, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yo, yo, yo. First, before we get things started, man, I just want to give a shout out to everybody that's in the house. Uh, you guys know how it is. Uh, shout out to uh, Almighty Bones, uh, Cole, J Deuce. Shout out to you, Sam. Uh, Dallas Kid King or KD King. Shout out to you too as well. Uh, those who are all in the box, man. Shout out to you guys. And uh, feel free to give you guys... Uh, Feel free to give feedback to as well. But let's get this thing going. Yeah. All right. So we got the film up. Uh, I thank everybody for tuning in. Hey, Wiggle Bell, shout out to you two as well. But uh, let's look at this Jamez Olawale. Now, there's so many things that I have on my mind as it relates to a fullback, believe it or not. But um, we see him on the picture. Let me know if you guys can see the marker. Um, this is pretty much so right here. We know what he has. We know what he can bring to the table as far as uh, catching the ball out of the backfield, shiftiness, his movement throughout the uh, the backfield too as well kind of remind me so much of a of a Rod Smith. <laughs> What's up, guys? But uh, let's just get this film going. All right, so we're gonna look at this film. We do know that he has the ability to, to, to just have that shiftiness. Now that is what we like to see out there on the backfield, regardless of any running back that's out there. Health is everything too as well. We got to have uh, a running back that's healthy. We understand that. But let's look at this play right here. As we can see, watch. Come out, explode. Number two. <laughs> Bad angle. Made the guy skate. That's that's crazy right there. We like to see that out of a fullback. But let's look at this play right here. I'm going to pause it. Uh, hey, how many people we have in the box, guys? Those who out there have been watching film. Yeah, Rod Smith 2.0. How many people we got out there? What what formation this is? Where they out? Down and distance, down and out. In the goal line, right? Now, technically you can put technically you can put a hat against a hat, right? That's what we can see. Uh, we look at this play right here. Yes, it's a pro style, pro pro formation right here. As we look right here, this is where uh, Jamez Olawale is at. And uh, goal line, there you go. Somebody squeezing out goal line. That's what I'm talking about, right? Now, you can go a hat on a hat, right? Force it right up the middle. But when you have a guy that got soft hands, can catch, this is what you can do. Let's roll the tape. We're going to roll this thing out. Soft hands. Rolling out. Now, scheme, schematics. We don't know whether or not this coaching staff can call plays like this, but it is possible. Let me know if my background music, make sure it's not too high. You know, let me, somebody said it's lagging. Let me pause it, but uh, we got to figure this thing out one way or another. Let me see if I can just drown out the background. But you guys can, yeah. Somebody said it was lagging, so let me clear out some things. <clears throat> Shout out to Dallas. Uh, now, I'm going to hit play right here. Now, now, if you see if stop, that's me stopping the video. So I can, I'm going over the play. So <laughs> we didn't trade Rod Smith. We trade Keith Smith unless something new out there. All right, so look at this play right here. Goal line formation two as well. I got it paused. But I want everybody to take a look at the line. All right, so we got the wide receiver up top. We see him one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Pretty much a hat on a hat. We have everybody assigned to their guys. Now pretty much off, off of this play alone, we're going to see – that uh, actually, uh, uh, J.O., I'm going to call him, I'm just going to call him J.O., Jamez Olawale, uh, is going to have one guy to beat, and he's going to actually put that, that thunder from down under on him. So we're going to see that. Watch this. We're going to hit play. Everybody hat on hat. Everybody uh, signed good block up front. And it's just, man, man, that, that's where you put, that's where you run, that's where you have your consistency at. Let me pause this right here. When you see it pause, that's just me pausing. It's not lagging, basically. 
Uh, this is a special team play. Uh, we saw that um, we losing a Keith Smith because Keith Smith was tremendous on special team, and we lost Kyle Wilbur. And I believe, uh, just looking back at everything, Versace, uh, however you say his name, he's down there in Oakland. So, or, or uh, Cal, what, 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 where are the Raiders at now? They're not in Vegas yet, right? They're going to be in Vegas next year. What we're seeing here is that he's pillaging off the actual Dallas Cowboys. So it could be that's the reason why Keith Smith is gone, basically. Offer him more money, and now you have him down there. But let's look at this play right here. I mean, I, I love turnovers. Everybody know when I'm doing film sessions, I love to say, hey, I love to get turnovers, takeaways, and things like this, change of field. That's everything. Now, will that happen every game? No. <laughs> Impossible, right? But uh, we see the skill set, and we see it once. You can see it again. Hey, goal line formation. This is where you eat, right? I'm pausing it. This is not lacking. But what we see in here on this formation, watch out, Jamez Olawale. Explode. Look, that power right there is everything you want in life. Well, I'm going to rewind, rewind, rewind. Look at the film. Look at the film. Let me go right here. And and I thought that he didn't have that type of dog in him. But watch this. Watch he pick up. Mm. That's everything right there. You should you could have seen me live. I was just like jumping out of my seat when I saw this. Now, this play right here, power straight up the gut. Mm. <laughs> Untouched. But what I want to show you guys, I'm going to rewind. Big number 66. This guy, what you call a double Mac, double block. I mean, I'm talking about medieval, knocking the guy back. And then he's saying, okay, I'm not finished eating. I'm hungry for some more. Watch this guy right here. If you guys can see my marker, let me know. Let me know if you can see my marker. All right, so I'm going to hit play. Man, pick number 66, man, everything. I'm going to just rewind this again. Man, I love this. Uh, you, hey, you got to love this, right? Pause it. Mm. Pick number 66, boy. Hey. <laughs> now my only reservation would be when you take Ezekiel Elliott off the field when you have that you know that type of uh, fullback and, and you don't want that this is what you call a block and run uh, coach used to say hey touch somebody just don't run through the hole and don't touch anybody and uh, I'm going to rewind on this too as well hit play again he's going to get in the way and that's what you want to do when you miss your, when you overshoot your block just still get in the way and you saw him, how he hit the actual linebacker, and he was still able to spring out for the touchdown. I'm slowing it down. Bam, get it in the way. You overshot your block, but don't give up. Continue to push forward, move forward, T-O-U-C-H-D-O-W-N. All right, so on this play right here, seal in the edge. Protect the edge. Bring in the, bring in the fortitude, the force, and I'm going to rewind. There's going to be a lot of rewinding so you guys can see. All right, let me. Go back. Uh, all right. That's when he block and run. Coach say get in the way, get in the way. I slowed it down on purpose so that's not your speed, okay? All right, so still in the edge. Block. Hmm. That's what I like to see, guys, that edge right there. Now, we do know the shiftiness, uh, that type of run. And we saw this with Rod Smith. Rod Smith is a finisher too as well of, of, of the run. Finishing. Mm. Now, on this play, this happened from the block. Now, those who are out there who are playing football on any level, be the aggressor at all times. This is going to be a two-study on this. I'm going to pause it right here. You see number 49 right here. You see his guy right here. Now, when I'm talking about being the aggressor, number 50, I think it's number 51, he's supposed to shoot up and blow 49 up, but he didn't. And watch number 49. He's going to take him, and he's going to turn his legs. He's going to keep his legs moving, keep his lower frame. Remember, low men always win. So watch this play right here. Low man, get low. Push him up, push him up. Look, that's, that's what you want to see in number 33. He's just taking it on up to the top. Now, on the flip side, I'm going to look at number 51. Got a good stance, but what he did, he allowed the opposition to get into his frame. Now, what you want to do when you are a linebacker in this position, in this situation, 
You understand the, the, the running back is over here. You trying to get to the angles. And there's two type of people in life that you would never want to fight. And this is just me telling you guys some country stuff. Look, two type of people you do not want to fight. A person who lays sheetrock all day and a person who lays shingles. And maybe you can throw in somebody who throw hay around. You don't want to fight those guys. Regardless of how size, what they size are, they know leverage, they know angles. And that's what all blocking is about. Blocking is all about mentality. It's a physical thing that you have to have. And, and on this play right here, you see that number 49, Jamez Oluwale, was the physical, aggressive guy who charged upfield and had a good seal on his block. Didn't allow his Frank, didn't allow the opposition to get his hands onto his inside. And he was able to um to, to push upfield and keep them legs turning. Now on the other end, on the other end, uh, number 51 supposed to crash down shed and get to the quarter get to the quarterback or the running back at this point but he didn't and uh, this is what we have this is the results of it you know i'm gonna hit play uh i'm just going to hit play now and uh you guys can see what's going on uh, with this particular play come on play it around i got it blocked there you go <clears throat> play Look, look at the legs. Look at the frame. And then he tried to do a little punch at the end. At the end, That's crazy. That, that's, that's horrible blocking right there. Uh, well, horrible uh, shedding a uh, linebacker. This was a third and long play, well, third and short. Uh, I like the aggressive tone, getting upfield. Uh, we, we like to see that, guys. Now, watch this play right here. Swing out. Put, get, get in the way. And that's what I like to see, guys. He got in the way and allowed the, allowed, allowed the running back to get up the field. Catching the ball out of the backfield. That's what we like to see too as well. I mean, now this is the thing here. I'm going to hit pause and this is not your screen freezing up on you. Uh, this is the thing. When you have a fullback, halfback, hybrid running back that can catch out of the backfield, it keeps your linebackers honest and it keeps your safety honest too as well. With that being said, when you have a linebacker uh, uh Looking back into the backfield and saying, okay, we got to look at number 49. Remember, you got Ezekiel Elliott out there. They always have to worry about Zeke. So this is the thing. I don't know how the creativity, the scheme, or the schematics of, of the Cowboys offense. I just don't know. But when you have that type of guy that can catch the ball out of the backfield, it keeps your linebackers honest. It keeps the safety honest too as well. Meaning that they can't crash up field like they want to because – Excuse me, because they have a a, a, a a catching out of the field halfback or fullback, however you want to call it. So that's what I like to see. That's what I see that he brings to the table versus a Keith Smith. Now, do I like Keith Smith's aggressive tone? He blocking. He understood his assignment. Yes. Watch this play right here. Normally, we would say, hey, we definitely don't want to see this this far out there in the league, but this far out there on the play because we got Ezekiel Elliott. But when you have a spell, maybe you can put him out there and he can give you some dirty yards too as well. That's what I like to see from this guy. Now, watch this. Fake toss, shiftiness. It re reminds us so much of Rod Smith. I can pull a tape from last year of Rod Smith just dominating out there. Uh, just patient run, upfield, north and south aggressive if we add that to our uh, mix of running backs man this can be some old school stuff this can actually work most teams are designed to stop the pass you can put and you can snatch the heart out of the opposition just by running the ball up the gut and putting that progress on them putting the pain and, and then when you try to you can catch the ball out of the backfield too as well those are all good points those are all good things that you can have to have have to have out there on your field of play. That's the shiftiness block. That blocking sprung up everything free for uh, the running back here to score the touchdown. Watch this. I'm going to slow it down a little bit for you guys. Mm, get in the way. Touchdown. That's that block and run. You know, block and run. Power power formation. Single block. Get okay. This is everything, too, as well. Let me just rewind on this play right here. This is what I like to see. Second field, up the level blocking. Hit play. 
get in the way, keep turning the legs, give me some yards. That's what I like to see, guys. Now, we understand that he can't catch the ball out of the backfield. That's a plus, too, as well. It's like extra added to this guy's skill set. So that's all the time I have for that. <laughs> it just, man, it was just me trying something different to show you guys what type of skill set Jamez Olawale uh, have out there on the field. Let me see what we have, who all we have here today. Shout out to, shout out time. Um, shout out time. Let me do, 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 do around here. Right, so I see a lot of people in the chat box saying, talking dads, what, what I miss? You guys stop looking at my film, and you guys will start talking about Desmond Brian. What's going on? Good info, Law. Thank you, man, Wilson, uh, a.k.a. Eddie. Shout out to you, too, as well. Shout out to Steve for the donation. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for help growing the nation. We will be live in the flesh, so if you guys are in the Dallas area, Plano particularly, um, we will be live. And playing on. Uh huh. Keep grinding in Dallas. Appreciate it. Co free. Shout out to you two as well. Killing them, Law. I appreciate it. I'm getting some good feedback, man. You guys having me. Man, you guys got me feeling good. Although I sound like Snoop, man, with this uh, sinus pressure everywhere. I got to get adjusted to the Dallas area. This is Dallas Cowboys talk. Hey, Law, can you, can I DM you on IG to talk to you? Yeah, you can. You can also, the best way to reach out to me is, is through IG, of course, Twitter, and uh, Facebook, believe it or not. You know, go to at Laws Nation. Uh, just send me a message that way. I probably respond faster because uh, Facebook got a better way of notifying you because i've seen some people who hit me up on ig it was last year and i was like damn it's too late you know but i still try to answer the question question get a middle linebacker from gene byram um that would be a plus uh we need to have a middle linebacker uh, uh, did i mention navarro bowman is out there are you talking about for the draft then then yeah that's a, a no brainer if we have to uh, get somebody out there, it'll be a plus. Um, Jimmy 07018, let's go, Law. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Nick Law the Goat, <laughs> greatest of all time. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best of hits and oldies magic. <laughs> Um, it's going to be Mexico restaurant, Jackie. Um, please charge it to my head, not my heart. Um, but if you go to my Facebook page, I will have the ad at the actual address. I'm on a flyer. It's going to be me, Peter, from 3-6 Mafia, Derry. There'll be some guys out there um, from, from the Dallas Prospect Show. I'm going to be doing the thing. Keep doing your thing, Law. Yeah, Hiri. I think that's how you say your name. Appreciate the nation. Appreciate the donation to help grow the nation. Jay Deuce, 1,000 questions. When would the Dallas get? Go back up. When would Dallas get off its butt and start doing something? <laughs> we would never know. Joe Thomas is trash. We digging up dumpsters again. Dumpster diving. <laughs> we are. Um, let me see if I can. Give me about a few seconds here, okay? Right. <clears throat> I'm back. I had to call.
cough, man. This, this, this sinus, man. I don't know what to do. Try, I need to go find me some wild honey or something, you know. Um, this this guy that we got from the Green Bay Packers, it seems so much like Jay Elliott's situation again. Um, we, we picked the wrong guys, you know. Um, the willing and dealing parts of the Cowboys offseason have just been, um, been, been below average to me, but we did sign our own guys. Um, I, I don't know if we're going to sign Alan Hearns. I don't know. It's all a money situation, so we, we won't know. So, Joe Thomas, right? Uh, it, it, the thing is with Joe Thomas, I, I didn't look at a lot of his film. Only saw some of his film in passing. Uh, I just don't really see the things that I want to see out of him. Uh, the small clips that I did see. So, is he a game changer? Get you my bottom dollar. May not be. Um, let me see. Erie is pronounced Eddie. All right. Eddie. Eddie, 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 Eddie. All right. Do you have film on Joe Thomas? Uh, Dustin. Um, maybe this weekend I'll have some film on Joe. I'll bring it up. Show some of his highlights, low lights. Show you what I like about him. Show you what I don't like. Maybe I can do some things like that. Uh, Law, you have great content. Big D for life. That's my nickname. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. I uh, appreciate the uh, the support. Uh, I've seen it on IG. Yeah, appreciate it, Vern G. Vern B. Uh, Raptor Charge. Uh, Joe Thomas had 14 tackles last year. He is a bomb. Like, like this bottom basement or this bottom feeding uh, deal that we do. It's just how the Cowboys operate. I have learned to, to to love it, you know. It's one of those things, man. Um, this right quick. There we go. Y'all overlook it. Hey, law. After this, I'm gonna DM you. Okay, cool. All right. So Ross Hernandez, Will Hernandez, Will Hernandez is my pick. I mean, that would be nice, man. Uh, anybody who pick up Will Hernandez, they, they're getting a good player. They're getting refrigerator, big, bulky guy that's going to um, be there for at least eight to ten years. What's up with Alan Hearns? Mm, I don't know. I haven't even heard any news yet. My thing is I don't want to start digging down into stuff, man, and, and he's going to fool around and go to another team. When he comes on the Cowboys, I really deep dive and, and look look at his stuff. But uh, to me, Alan Hearns do catch the uh, the weird balls, and he's from the U. You know, um, it's it's one of those things. Whereas uh, we'll know when we get him if we get him. We do need a good draft, man. Um, Xavier was it Kochimo, Kamachi, Camacho. What's up? <laughs> uh, Gabriel uh, and Laws Nations, uh, Alan Hearns uh, had a meeting with Dallas Cowboys early today, but he left without a deal. So that that speaks volumes there, right? You come down, you go into meet organization that's supposed to be like the, 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 one of the richest organizations in the world. And you leave with empty pocket. Wouldn't happen if I was the GM. I locked them doors and said, "Hey man, I'm hella high water. I want you on this team. Here's here's why. You know, here's what I can see. This is what we can offer. But it is what it is. Jazz Green, <laughs> Jay Dudes. Maybe I can do that. The biggest fall of the Cowboys organization. Uh huh. But um." Hey guys, that's, that's pretty much all the time I have for today. I'm going to have to get some rest. I have to be re really recharged for tomorrow. We're going to do like a four-hour show. Four hours. Four hours we're going to be talking. So that's a long time. So um, hopefully I'm going to look to post the, the location of the video or where we're going to be at tomorrow. But on this video, it's going to be in the description box or once everything is uploaded, it should be in the uh, comment section. So you guys can see us where we at 
But uh, let me see how many people we got in the box before I run. 73 people in the house, man. I really, and I'm telling you, I really love you guys, man. Um, I was in the store the other day and uh, at Chipotle. Chipotle or Chipotle, how you call it? Um, somebody ran up to me and said, uh, hey, man, I watch all your film breakdowns, man. You, you inspire me to uh, be a defensive back coach and and I'm coaching now for uh, said school. And I'm sitting there like, oh, wow, you know. So he might be in the box today right now, you know. But <clears throat> here's the thing. Um, when, you, when you're hungry, when you're motivated to do things, if you want something bad enough, you'll go out and fight for it. You'll work hard and day and night for it. You give up your time. You give up your peace and you'll sleep for it. And if all your desires of it, if it don't make you quite mad enough that you don't get tired of it, it makes you hold all other things tardy and cheap for it. If life itself seems empty and useless without it, and all that you scheme and dream if it's about it, if you will gladly, and I mean gladly, go out and chase for it, and sweat for it, and fret for it, and plan for it, and lose all terror of God or man for it, if you will simply go after the thing you want with all of your capacity, strength, and scargacity, with faith, hope, and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold, poverty, or famish, or fame, or sickness of body or brain can turn you away from the thing you want. If dogged and grim and besieged and beset it with the help of Almighty, you will get it. That's anything in life that you want to do. And that's what I like to hear. I love somebody that have the passion and the fortitude of their mind to go out there and get the thing that they want. And uh, that's, it's been an extreme pleasure, man, for me talking to you, to you guys. Good night, Jackie. Uh, it's been an extreme pleasure for me to talk to you guys. Uh, uh, about football and, and, and about my passion, about my my dream, my goal, my aspiration, and you guys see the growth. This is only my second year, right? Uh, it's going on third year. Look, the sky is the limit to anything that you want to do in life, and uh, I, I, and I come to tell you guys that uh, there's somebody in here right now. Uh, the people that's in the box, man. The people that uh, support this channel. There's great things in the future for you guys. There's great opportunities. There's going to be so much things out there that you guys going to going to do in life just beyond just being a Cowboys fan. And, uh, and, and we're going to see the growth. We're going to see the aspiration. We're going to see the um, development as we travel along this journey. And uh, that's all the time I have for today. I really thank you guys for yours. And remember... You're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. We out. Let me jam it out. Let me jam it up. You guys know I love this music.